All right, welcome back to the channel. So I was out here looking over my new Jeep here, trying to get an understanding of, of what it has and what it's got going on and, and just get a feel for uh, this setup here. Uh, and I noticed something that made me need to take a second look. Uh, and so let me show you what I found uh, and then I'll show you um, what I came up with as a solution. All right, so you can see we're here. We've got this air filter box open you see right there there's oil coming in that hole also kind of spattered on the inside of this housing here this air filter is nasty that's something I'm gonna put on order right away get that replaced um, so seeing this uh, I did a little research and this is actually coming from a valve cover over here right this is what Jeeps call the CCV system. A lot of newer cars, they call it PCV, which stands for positive crankcase ventilation. For Jeeps, it would be the uh, continuous crankcase ventilation system. And so what it does, there's two parts to it here. Back here is a valve, right? And this valve is, it's connected to the intake manifold right down here. And that's creating a positive vacuum, right? So it's, it's, creating a pressurized crankcase, right? The constant crankcase ventilation, or the CCV, right? So what's supposed to happen is, is this system right here is supposed to create suction, right? It's gonna suck this way and then and do what it does. And this being connected to the same uh, valve cover and the same, the, the system, right? Is gonna suck clean air through the air filter into the crankcase and then it's gonna go through there and back into the intake manifold that way. And so what this is doing here, my thought is that this is plugged, right? This valve is plugged here, uh, meaning it can't get vacuum, meaning that oil is actually spilling backwards where it's not supposed to into the air filter here. So I'll show you what I got to take care of that. All right, so what I got here, if you can see, I've got a kit. I got this kit off of Amazon. It comes with two grommets. The grommets will go on top of this valve cover here, and they will hold in the valves, right? One of them is just an elbow, the one that goes into the air filter. The other one is a valve, right, where that suction happens. So let me pull them out of the bag here, and I'll show you a little closer. So we've got our two grommets here, right? One, two. And this system, this system is something that gets neglected often in cars. Uh, but it's vital, right? It, uh, it obviously, if it's clogged, it um, well, you'll get oil in your air filter. But also, it doesn't keep the the positive pressure in the crankcase as well as it needs to. Uh, it can cause problems. It can cause, I think, backfiring problems. I read, um, possibly some other uh, operation issues, right? So here's the valve. You can see it's got a smaller port there, and then just an outlet. And then this one, this one is just an elbow that will connect to the air filter to get to suck in that clean air into the crankcase. So let's um, get these old ones off and then replace that system and hopefully stop getting the oil inside the air filter housing. All right, I got the valve replaced, I got the elbow replaced. Uh, I did check, and it, what, the old one was flowing, so um, worst case, these parts were 
you know, $15 on Amazon, easy fix, quick fix. Uh, I cleaned up the air cleaner box here. And so I'm, I'll run around for a few hundred miles, uh, open it up and check again, see if oil is up in there. If not, hopefully we fix the problem. Uh, and then it, if, if there does still seem to be oil sucking up into the air filter where there's not supposed to be, there may be something else. I have to, I'll have to do more digging and see if I can get to the problem. But for now, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with the new Jeep project we got here and also follow along on some of our family adventures into the mountains here in North Idaho.